Hey, so, how'd the fashion show go? Anthony, I don't think Julia wants to talk about it. Well, why? What happened? Oh, nothing. It, it was it was wonderful. Julia looked fabulous, oh. really. You were one of the best looking women up there. That's right. You couldn't help what happened. Well, what happened? Anthony, didn't you hear? Julia doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, I don't care if Anthony knows. He may as well. Everybody else is going to. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Julia made a huge fool out of herself. How? Well, you know, Anthony, how Charlene is always saying that she's not a person going down the big freeway of life with the back of her dress tucked in her pantyhose? Uh -huh. Well, now Julia has gone down the freeway of life with the back of her dress tucked in her pantyhose. <laughs> You mean down the ramp while she was modeling? You got it. Whoa. And let me tell you, it was stunning. I mean, I was sitting out three seats away from the mayor when all of a sudden I look up and here comes Julia down the ramp. And then she turns away from us and there's her backside completely uncovered. I mean, people were gasping. People were falling out of their chairs. And all the time, Julia just kept turning and smiling. And Mooned everybody within a 600-mile radius. Suzanne, you know how I feel about that word. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's what they call it. Even the waiters were asking for her autograph. I will never leave this house again. But Julia, you have to. I just went out and bought all the snack food for tonight. Yeah, and Ted's gonna have Quint, and I'm gonna come. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna forget all this. What I don't understand is, why didn't somebody tell me? What I don't understand is... Where was your underwear? <laughs> Suzanne, I told you, they asked me to only wear hose because the dress was silk and otherwise you could see a panty line. <laughs> I cannot believe that all my life I've tried to create some semblance of grace and style. Now I'm going to be remembered as that woman who mooned Atlanta. <laughs> well, let me tell you something that happened to me, and I have never told this to anyone, but, you know, when Ted and I went on our honeymoon, we got one of those bedrooms on the Amtrak, and the bed is right next to this huge picture window. Well, you know, being our honeymoon and all, you can imagine what we had on. Matching PJs? <laughs> no, Charlene. Anyway, we fell asleep above the covers, you know. Me being the one who was, like, pressed up against the window. And because it was pitch black out, we didn't realize that the shade was up until the train came to a stop at dawn right in the middle of an intersection in downtown Tucumcari, New Mexico. <laughs> where we were awakened by the sound of people honking their horns and hanging out the car window, hooting and hollering at things like, hey, baby, looking good, all right. <laughs> I swear my face still gets hot when I just think about it. <laughs> uh, Suzanne, don't you have a most humiliating moment to tell? Yes, I do. My most humiliating moment was when Julia mooned 1,200 people. <laughs> 